Cinderella, and my magic pet Morphle can morph into anything! Morphle! Let's go! <laughs> Mila, Morphle, caregiver Kamal called. He says he needs your help at the zoo. Okay, Daddy. Morphle, morph into a flying house. <laughs> Mila, Morphle, great! I need your help. Could you and Morphle help bring this penguin, camel, and monkey to their new homes in the wild? Sure! Great! We can all fly in Morphle the Flying House. The desert is hot and dry. It's the perfect home for a camel. Morphle, look! It's a dragon! I think he wants to come with us. I think we can find a new home for him. Right, Morpho? Yay! <laughs> Uh-oh. The South Pole is the perfect home for a penguin. But it's way too cold for a dragon. Okay, let's go to another place. <laughs> the rainforest is the perfect home for a monkey. Uh-oh, but I think the rainforest might be too wet for dragons. It's not easy finding the perfect home for a dragon, but we're not giving up. <laughs> Look, Morphle! It's a volcano! This is a perfect place for a dragon to live. Okay, dragon. You seem very happy in your new home. Now it's time for Morphle and me to go back home. You're a magic pet. It doesn't matter where magic pets are in the world. They won't feel at home without their human companion. But I already have a magic pet, Morphle. But I know where we can find you a great human companion. <gasps> what? <laughs> <laughs> At the Magic Pet Center, we'll find you a magic match in no time. <laughs> With Professor Rashid's time machine, we are unstoppable! to a dinosaur superhero. There, now he can't do any more damage. No, wait, this is not how it's supposed to happen. Morphle, 
Let's get them all together so I can zap them back into prehistoric times. Quickly, pick up the Triceratops, Morphle. <laughs> I think you forgot one dinosaur. <laughs> oh, my God. oh no, Morpho! <laughs> <laughs> Quick, to the lab. We need to find out where he went. There he is. Tumbling test tubes. Hang on, Morpho. That should do it. <laughs> That's so cool! Yeah! Alpha wanted you too! What? Alpha! <laughs> <laughs> Silly daddy! Let me go, Orphan! Orphan, do too! <laughs> isn't this great? No, it isn't! Ooh, I have an idea. Let's have a race. What? That would be fun. Okay, the first one to reach the mountaintop wins. Ready, set, go! Ah, stop it! Wow! They're so fast! They're racing to the mountain top! I've got an award for that! Let's go! Him off. I think I know a shortcut. Go that way, Morphle. Woohoo! We've lost him, Morphle. Yeah! <laughs> what? Do something, Morphle! Was great. There's the mount. Tired. 
I'll win this race for you, Morphle. Oh, no, you won't. Who won? I think it's a tie. A tie? Uh-oh. Don't worry, Mila. A good award guy always has two awards with him. That was great, Morphle. Yeah. Um, I guess that was pretty fun. Aww. They say there's a monster hiding in these woods. First, you will hear a growl. Then, you will see all kinds of spooky shadows. And then, the monster will come out and get you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, April, you're so good at telling spooky stories. That story can't be true. Monsters aren't real. Nuh-uh, it is true. Sarah told me so herself. And how would Sarah even... Uh, quiet, everyone. Did you hear that? It's the monster. No way. It must be the wind or something. Hmm. If you're so sure, why don't you check it out? Mm -hmm. Fine. I'm not scared. The sounds came from this direction, right? There, in the bushes. Won't you check it out? Uh, okay. Ah! Oh, that's not a monster. It's a rabbit. Phew. <laughs> I knew that. I just wanted to scare you guys. Sure. But we still don't know where that scary noise came from. Ah! <gasps> Did you see that shadow? It could have been another rabbit, right? I don't think there are rabbits that big. Again? Why me? You said it was just the wind, right? Prove it. The shadow went that way. You can do it, Troy. All right, fine. Let's go. <laughs> well, I don't see any monster. Me neither. But now we still don't know where that scary sound came from. Just admit that monsters aren't real. Ah! Troy! Behind you! There's no such thing as mon... Monster! <gasps> it's real! <gasps> Run away! <laughs> Orful! You're not Or... <gasps> Wait! You mean Orful's the monster? So there is no real monster? Oh, that Orful. That's so mean. Hmm. Let's see how he likes getting scared. Ha <laughs> 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 
are missing. They always get into trouble, and I'm really worried about them. Hmm. We can find them. 
Yeah! Really? That's great! Morphle! Morph into a helicopter! Now, where could those monkeys be? Morphle, no, no! Ah! A monkey? I guess we found the first monkey. <laughs> But where is it? It's right there on the ceiling. Crab changed the monkey's gravity. Yup. And now it wants to stay on the ceiling. Morphle can catch it. Did it! Great! Do you know where the other monkeys could have gone to? Are you sure one monkey is out at sea? Oh, monkey! Oh no, a shark! to scare the shark away. And I have an idea. <laughs> Don't worry, monkey. to find the third monkey. Monkey! <laughs> Hi, Cloud Monster and Monkey. Oh, hello. I made a new friend. That's great. But we need to take the monkey and his friends back to the zoo. Oh, okay. But you can play with all three of them in the zoo. Really? <sighs> We're back, and we brought a friend. Great, there you are. <laughs> oh no! Morphle, are you all right? Hmm, I know what will cheer you up. My invention is done. Come and see. I've invented a youth serum, which I will demonstrate on my assistant. Oh, that's so cute. Puppy. Tumbling test tubes, Morphle. Uh, uh, oh, I don't know how to take care of a baby. Oh, oh dear. Morph, you have to take her to her daddy while I make an antidote. Oh, good grief. Morph? Uh-oh. 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 U
Smaller, no cry. Mila hungry? accidentally dropped this life ray that I was going to present at the National Science Conference, and it zapped your toy dinosaurs to life. But it broke, and I can't zap the dinosaurs back again. Hmm. Mila, can you look after them while I fix my life ray? Of course, Professor Rashid. I'm sure we'll have lots of fun together. Great. I'll be back as soon as I can. Toy dinosaurs, while we wait for the professor to return, let's play a game!
now let's play tag. You're it, T-Rex. than expected, but it's fixed now. Let's go back to the toy dinosaurs right away. I hope nothing bad has happened while I was gone. Oh, tumbling test tubes. Professor, do you want to join the picnic? We've been having great fun! Thank you, Mila, but I think it's time to zap the dinosaurs back into toys. Steady. Oh! Professor Rashid, I don't think the toy dinosaurs want to go back to being toys. They've been having much more fun as living dinosaurs. Yes, Mila. But the city is no place for dinosaurs. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe Zookeeper Kenneth has a place for them. What's this? Are those giant toy dinosaurs? Yeah, Professor Rashid accidentally zapped them with his life ray. Do you have a place for the toy dinosaurs to live, Zookeeper Kenneth? Well, the zoo only has one place for big animals, and the elephants already live there. But... During my travels, I think I spotted an uninhabited island where the toy dinosaurs could live. Let's go there right away, Morphle. There it is! You seem to have fun already! This island is a great home for you, but we need to go home again as well. Bye, toy dinosaurs! Bye-bye! Um, yes, uh, thank you, Jolly Fat. More ice cream. <sighs> ice cream. Morphle, morph into 
into a bulldozer so we can clear away all this ice cream. Muffle now can move. Muffle to fall. The Jolly Fan is making so much ice cream. Huh, I don't know what to do with it all. Yeah, and it's not healthy for Morphle. We should go out and find a human companion for the Jolly Fan. Okay, Jolly Fat, show Geraldo what you can do. So, what do you say? Do you want to be the Jolly Fan's human companion? No, 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 no! This is too easy! Geraldo's Gelatos is not just some ice cream factory! I am an artist. Hmm. Oh. Look, there's a fire over there! But Firefighter Gervin is running out of water. And Morphle still can't morph because he ate too much ice cream. Jolly Fan, use your ice cream to put out the fire. Was amazing! You're a real hero! A hero? <laughs> it will take me days to clean up this mess! Oh, I think Mr. Vanderboos is right. Hmm, I'm sorry that we couldn't find a fit human companion for you, but don't worry. You will always have a place here at the Magic Pet Store. Hello? Hello? Hi there. I'm looking for a Magic Pet to cheer up the kids at the Children's Hospital. Mila and Morphle, I've just spoken to your dad on the phone, and he will be home in two days. That's wonderful. We've been having a lot of fun staying with you, Uncle Wilford. But we miss Daddy. No worries. He'll be home before you know it. Good night, Uncle Wilford. Good night, Mila and Morphle. Night, night, Uncle Wilford. Where is my house? What's going on? This isn't my street. Ah, uh, Mila, 
Morful, the strangest thing has happened. Some of the houses have moved around in the night. Can you and Morful put them back again? Sure thing, Uncle Wilford. Morful, morph into a helicopter. Let's go straight to bed. Look at that, Morphle. The police station is alive. Wow. So that's why all the houses were in a wrong place. Quickly, Morphle, morph into a plane so we can follow it. Where you are supposed to be, police station. We are going to have to take you back, or your owner will not like it when he wakes up. Looking for us? Did you miss us? Oh, I'm sorry that we are staying at Uncle Wilford's house. But Daddy will be back soon, and then we will be back as well. Now, let us take you back to our street. Strange. A cloud make the house alive. You're right, Morphle. Let's investigate. Morph into a rocket.
helpful. But why are you out this late? Shouldn't you be in bed? <sighs> we should, but all the houses in the city are walking around because of that green smoke. Oh dear. We've been brewing this potion for our own house and didn't realize the smoke would be that strong. But it's done now. Take a look at what it does. Hello, everybody. Wow! Hello, Mr. House. Mr. House, could you take our friends to their home? I think they've had quite enough excitement for one night. It will be my pleasure. Am I crazy? Or were you walking around just now? Daddy, you're back. We've missed you. Ah, uh, Mila, Marvel. It's great to see you again. But what are you doing up this late? Oh, boy. Well, we're off. Have a good night. Good night. Bye-bye. Uh, good night. Well, Mila. I believe you've had quite an adventure while I was gone. We sure did. But let's get inside our house first, so it won't miss us anymore. Whoa! Careful, Morphle. Telefox has the magic pet flu, so you'll need to keep your distance for a while. Won't you get sick, Daddy? Only magic pets can get the magic pet flu. Telefox and I will stay inside to make sure other magic pets can't get the flu. Now play? Don't worry. We can still have fun inside. Right, Telefox? How that happened. I think Chroma has the magic pet flu as well. Don't get too close, Morphle. Hi, Mr. Painter. Hi, Chroma. I think you have the magic pet flu, Chroma. So that's what it is. Chroma started sneezing right after a big bubble popped in front of her. You should stay inside until you get better, so you won't make any other magic pets sick. We can still have fun at home. Think of all the paintings we can make. Mila, look! A big bubble. Let's see where it came from. Whoa! <laughs> Builder Lawrence, you should take Animi home. It has the magic pet flu. Oh no! It must have gotten sick from one of those bubbles in the air. Let's go back home and get you better, Animi. Hello, Bubble! Let's find out where those bubbles came from. Look, Morphle, it's Boba. You need to go home and stay inside. I don't think Boba wants to go inside. 
Let's go after it, Morphle. Uh... Morphle, okay. Morphle, no shit. Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. Do you feel good enough to chase after Boba? Yeah! To get inside, Boba. When you're outside and sick, you're making lots of other magic pets sick as well, including Morphle. Achoo! And we can still have lots of fun at home. Right, Morphle? Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> See, Boba? Playing inside can be fun as well. Morphle, <laughs> <laughs> morph into a crane. What a great idea to surprise Princess Leela and Sir Father with a castle. Yeah, that way they'll have a place to stay when they visit. And with Morphle and Professor Rashid's life ray, we'll be done in no time. Whoops, they ran out of stones. Morphle, morph into a dump truck. See you in a bit, fellas. We need those blocks, Morphle. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on Princess Leela's face when we surprise them with the whole castle. It's going to be the best castle they have ever seen. There he is! Your crane took a statue from my garden and my bus. They took stuff from everybody. Oh, boy. We need to get to the castle fast, Morphle. I want that statue back! Oh no. Guys, you were supposed to wait until we got back. We need to give all this stuff back to people. Morphle, morph into a wrecking ball. A castle? In this modern time? Surprise! Yes, we built it for you guys. Wow! We missed having a castle so much. Well, I'm sorry, Sir Father and Princess Leela. We have to take it down. 
A lot of people's stuff got mixed up in there, and they need it back. Don't worry, we have plenty of material to build you a new one. Wow! This castle is even better! I can see my house from here! I could see if you're home, so we can play together! Glad to see everybody's happy! I want that statue back! Morphle, morph into a big T-Rex! Wow, Morphle, that was really loud. Come on, Morphle, wake up. Mr. Ice Cream Man, could you play your ice cream jingle for Morphle? Of course! Ice cream! Here you go! Now, we have to find that magic pet that put you to sleep. Can we borrow your tape player for a while, Mr. Ice Cream Man? But of course. Thank you. Look, Morphle, half the town is asleep. I bet that magic pet did it. That does not look safe. We need to stop that drill, Morphle. Are you ready, Maximilian? No, Max! What are you doing? Help! Somebody help! Oh no! Morphle! Morph into an elephant too! And splash some water! on his face. Phew! Thanks, Mainland Morphle. Let's keep searching. Morphle, morph into an airplane. Over there, Morphle. It's trying to fall. 
find a place to sleep. Oh no, Morpho! Wake up! Ah! I know what to do! Ice cream! Morph into a flying bed. Uh... This way, the magic pet will come to us. All it wants is a place to sleep. Over there, Morpho. We are building the tallest building in the whole city. But none of our cranes are tall enough to finish the project. Mila, could you ask Morphle to morph into a big crane? Morphle, morph into the biggest crane in the whole world. Amazing! Thanks a ton, Morphle. This is the greatest building this city has ever seen. I think you did super duper well, Morphle. Now let's go play in the park. Unbelievable! Where did that wind come from all of a sudden? I don't know. It's not windy anymore. <gasps> Look!
much more fun than I thought. Up in my cloud castle, I'm always alone. We're very sorry. We didn't know that we built our skyscraper right through your castle. We will start over and build a new skyscraper somewhere else. I have better plan. I love my cloud castle, but up here I have nobody to play with. For my plan, I need your help. Get it back. All right. Morphle, morph into a race car. Take that. <laughs> oh, Stein, you're so bad. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? The bandits stole the professor's growing ray. What? Not in my city. Let's stop them. <laughs> this is so much fun! Stop right there, bandits! Oh, it's Officer Freeze! Give us back the growing ray! Oh, it's Mila and Morphul! Oh no, what do we do? This is what we do! <laughs> Stop that! You're under arrest! Try and catch us first! I have an idea! We can bounce from flower to flower to reach the bandits! Morphle, morph into a kangaroo! <gasps> Look, Stein! They are coming closer! We have to go higher! Bandits, look out! The flower is about to break! You're just saying that to stop us! We're not falling for that! Uh-oh. Ah! Looks so pretty. Well, maybe we can keep it like this just for today. Oh no! Troy hurt his arm. I think he should go see a doctor. Morph 
people morph into an ambulance. Thank you very much for bringing Troy to the hospital, Mila and Morphle. When I grow up, I want to be a doctor too. That way I can help people get better, just like you. That's very nice, Mila, but I will tell you a secret. It's not just people that I help. I am also the doctor that treats all the mythological creatures that live in and around this city. It would be a great help if I could use this amazing ambulance to visit my next mythological patients. Yeah, of course! Our first stop is Starfish Island. Our next patient is the mountain giant. Let's try again, Morphle. <sighs> How will we ever reach the mountain giant? I have an idea. Morphle, add a jet engine to the ambulance. Thank you so much. Morphle was a great... <gasps> oh no! It looks like Morphle the ambulance caught the flu from one of our patients. Poor Morphle. Please help Morphle get better, Doctor. I'll give Morphle some medicine. But the rest is up to you, Mila. Because the most important thing Morphle needs now is love and care. This healthy soup, Morphle. Once upon a time, there was a little red ambulance, and it caught the <gasps> Look, Morphle! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Tap my test tubes! Help! The Christmas present bandits use my time machine to steal a T-Rex from the past! 
<laughs> we are no longer the Christmas peasant bandits. Now, we are the dino bandits. Morpho, morph into a police car. <laughs> Not so tough now, eh? Now, this is our city! <laughs> well, boys, welcome back to my city. I don't think this is quite big enough. about the forest animals. Animals! <laughs> no, Morpho. Zebras live on the savanna, not in the forest. Shh! Do you hear that? Listen carefully. This sounds like a rare, colorful bird. Look! There it is! <gasps> wow! <gasps> Come, Mila and Morphle. Let's see what animal is over there. Monkeys live in the jungle, not in the forest. Uh, I think. Oh, fascinating. This trail could be from a deer. Or maybe a wild boar. Hmm, elephant! A lot of small animals live in this pond, like ducks, fishes, frogs, dolphins! <laughs> no, Morphle. Dolphins live in the ocean, just like whales, jellyfish, and sharks. Ah! Looks like you were wrong about the sharks, Uncle Wilford. Wait, what? Uh, 
Maybe I don't know anything about forest animals at all. yesterday with all those strange animals. How about we prank him back? Orful, watch out! There's a really scary dinosaur after me! <laughs> well, who wants to try and find a deer? <laughs> Hi, Mila and Morphle. Hi, Shelly. Do you want to play with me? Yeah, we do. Morphle, morph into a submarine. I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Chipper. Hi, Chipper. Morph into a dolphin, too! <laughs> oh no! It's the sea monster! Quickly hide! Phew! This is my friend, Jam. Hi, Jam. Look! Whee! Wow! <laughs> and here's Jam's mommy. This is so much fun! <laughs> Look, Maurice, it's a real mermaid. Let's catch it. <laughs> oh no, it's the pirates. We'll catch you, mermaid. Oh no! That's not a mermaid. No? It's a red submarine. Hmm? Morphle! Morph into... Oh no! It's the sea monster again! What is that? <laughs> the sea monster is helping us! Scary at all. Do you want to play with us? <laughs> Woohoo!
and Morphle is always friendly. Yeah! <laughs> That's true. Oh, no! Mila, Morphle, the pirates are smashing all the sand castles again. Let's stop them, Morphle. We should give them a big scare so they stop bullying the other people. Huh. Morphle plays scary shark. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Oh, never mind. It's just a shark. We aren't sea pirates, so we are not afraid of sharks. That shark can't come onto land. We'll see about that. Morphle, morph into a shark with legs. That shark has legs. Oh, no. Run, Sky Pirate number two. Ah. We are Sky Pirates! We're not afraid of anything on land, either! Man the cannon! Aye, aye, Captain. Let's go after them, Morphle! Ah! What's that? <laughs> ha, 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 ha! This is fun! Sky Pirates! You can't catch us from down there! Weird red shark with legs! <laughs> Morphle weird? Morphle's not weird! And he can reach you! Cause he can fly! What? Morphle, morph into a flying shark! Yeah! Uh, it's flying now! I'm scared! Oh no! Let's go higher, pirate number two! Or uh, uh, I mean, aye aye! You'll never catch on! <laughs> Water? What's going on? <coughs> and that is why the city needs. <laughs> Water balloons? Yeah! Woohoo! Yay! What? You darn kids! We can't shake him off! Ah! Let's hide in that cave, pirate number two. Good idea, but isn't that cave a little... Small! The pirates must have gone into that cave. Now get in! You're right, the ship is blocking the entrance. But I have an idea. Um, I think we're stuck, Captain. Yeah, but at least that red shark can't get to us in here. Uh, are you sure? The red shark! And he has a drill for a nose! <laughs> We've caught you, Sky Pirates! Now, you should come with us. Where are you taking us? The police station? No, the beach! So you can rebuild all the sand castles you smash. Oh no. Build? But I only know how to smash sand castles. Okay, Morphle. It's story time. Upon a 
time, there was a mama duck whose eggs were about to hatch. When they did, little baby ducks came out. All of them were super cute and fluffy, except for one of the ducklings. It was different because it was big and red and it didn't have any feathers. And instead of quacking, it sounded like this. I is a duckling! It wanted to play with its brothers and sisters, but they said it was ugly and they made fun of it. Mm. Yes. The brothers and sisters of the duckling were really mean. It made the duckling very sad. So sad that it flew off to play by itself. And when it was there by itself, all sad, all of a sudden, a giant dinosaur appeared. It chased the little duckling around. The little duckling flew for its life. There were big dinosaurs everywhere. Then it flew into the claws of a giant flying dinosaur called the pterodactyl. The little duckling was sure that the pterodactyl was about to eat it. But it didn't. Do you know why? No, Muffle, no, no! Because it was the duckling's real mother. You see, the duckling wasn't really a duckling. When it was just an egg, it accidentally rolled into the duckling's nest. The duckling grew larger and larger until it was just as big as its mommy. The end. Dino duckling, go see a brothers and sisters. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So, the dino duckling went back to visit its mean brothers and sisters. And, they were bullying a new duckling because it had big feet. Mm. Yeah, and the dino duckling roared really loudly and it chased away its mean brothers and sisters. And they lived Happily ever after. The end. The forest is full of all sorts of different animals. No, no, no. There are no tigers in the forest. They live in the jungle. But there are bees and ants living there, and little bunnies. Aw, he's cute! <laughs> you look like a very big bunny now, Morpho. There are no kangaroos in the forest. They live on the plains of Australia. Wow, is that a fox? Yes, Sarah. That's a very beautiful little fox. Monkey! No, no, no! There are no monkeys in the forest. You will never see any monkeys here. Look! Monkeys! Oh, these naughty monkeys escaped from the zoo when I told them it was time for their bath. Whew. How will I ever find them here in this forest? Don't worry, Zookeeper Kenneth. I think we can help. 
A parrot? Ah, that's the first one. A dog? And the second one. Crocodile? <laughs> and that's the third. I'm sorry you have to take a bath, but uh, how about some ice cream when you're clean? <laughs> Monkeys in this forest. <laughs> how about that? I think any animal could be in the forest when Morphle is around. <laughs> yeah! Hmm. But there's only two of us and so many toys. Wow! Two Morphles? Work together! Work together! Become so much easier if you work together. But how did we end up with all these toys and with two morphles? Because of Doubler. Its magic power is that it can create copies of anything. Fern! Hmm. Who could that be? Good day, sir. We are actual real Boy Scouts. <laughs> and we sell cookies. That looks great. Mmm. I think I would like some cookies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Milo, Morphle, the bandits stole Doubler. Oh, we need to catch them. But they're way too far. What could we use to catch them? Uh, Dracica! Not fast enough. Morphle, morph into a super fast police car. No! Run! Where have they gone? I'm sure they went this way. Huh? Look, Morphle. They're behind us now. How did they get there? We've caught you now. Uh-oh. Doubler isn't with them, Morphle. Where did you take Doubler? Doubler? Maybe he's with the instrument bandits. Or the feather bandits. Too many bandits. Or maybe he's with the Morpho bandits. <laughs> Morpho, morph into a... And we are the Band-Aid bandits. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Morpho. A new bandit mobile can use the power of any magic pet without us having to be their human companion. <laughs> and with Doubler in there, we can copy ourselves. Wheels? We don't want to be the wheel bandits. We will be... The paperclip bandits. <laughs> yeah. Huh. We, the Morpho bandits, have stolen Morpho. Great. 
Let's morph him into a bulldozer so it's easier to steal the wheels of cars. <laughs> no, morph him into tweezers so it's easier to pluck feathers. You're silly. You're silly. No, you are. Oh, so many morphles. Yeah. <laughs> Morphle. Morph into a bulldozer. Morphle. Morph into tweezers. Morphle isn't doing anything. Of course not, because we haven't put him in the bandit mobile yet. Don't do that. If you take out Doubler, there will only be two of us again. We escape. Morphle have a plan? What do we morph? No. Morphle no have a plan. Tricycle! No, not the fast enough. Oh. Morphle need a Mila. <laughs> Finally! Now I need to get Morphle back. Mila! Mila, help a Morphle! Mila, make a plan! Hi, Morphle. Yes, but there are so many bandits. If they all work together, there's nothing we can do. Bandits no work together. Bandits only a fight. Really? Then I think we just might have a chance. More for one. Morph into a T-Rex. <laughs> Morpho 2, morph into a robot. Morpho 3, morph into a big fan. Now work together to blow the feathers away. Oh no! Morpho 4! Morph into a ram! Doubler bandits, we need more feathers! No! We need more wheels! Double the wheels! That's a dumb idea! You're a dumb idea! No! We need wheels! Feathers! Um, so I guess now we free Doubler? Not what we should do. Yeah, it is. Morphle, morph into a big robot to catch them. Huh? What? Oh. oh no. And then there were four morphles and four of the bandits, and it was really exciting. Wow, that sounds really scary. Not scary. But the bandits didn't work together. We did! And that way, we could save Doubler! And then there is only one more full again. Two more full, a two hard. Aww. Hey, Yorn. Yeah, Stein? I'm glad you are the bandit that stayed when the others disappeared. Oh, me too, Stein. Good night, Yorn. Good night, Stein. Help! My dad hurt his foot, and now he can't deliver any of his awards. Morphle, morph into a motorcycle. Wait! You won this award! Come back! Mila and Morphle are here to help, Daddy. Great! Let's load up these awards and get moving! Whoa! Morpho, you'll need to be something bigger for that. Morph into a dump truck! Whoa. 
Look, there's our first winner. You get the award for the cutest doggy dog. You get the award for the best surfer. You get the award for the best mechanic. But this says prettiest girl? No, Morphle, that's wrong. Give him the award for the best mechanic. No, 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 that's okay. Uh, I'll keep this one. <laughs> You get the award for the best cloud monster! But I'm the only cloud monster. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mila and Morphle. We handed out all my awards. No, Daddy. There's still one more award to hand out. The award for Best Dad. Oh. <laughs> oh no, what happened here? Those are time portals. Tumbling test tubes, how did this happen? These items don't belong here. Someone must be looking for them. We should bring them back to their own time. What a good idea, Mila. This little machine is looking really high-tech. Yeah, it must be from the future. You're right. Let's go there, then. First stop, the future. Yeah! <laughs> Wait a minute. Hmm. This doesn't look like the future. <laughs> To a pterodactyl. Oh, thank you so much for saving me, fellow time travelers. You won't believe what happened. I was just researching these grounds when suddenly my time remote was gone. Is this yours, perhaps? Oh, yes! Thank you very much. Oh, now I can get home. All right, keep your hands inside the vehicle. Next stop will be the medieval times. Yeah, let's bring back the sword. This doesn't look like the right time for a medieval sword. That's because this isn't the medieval times. What went wrong with this machine? That's it. That's my family's heirloom sword. They stole it! Family heirloom? 
We didn't steal it. We came to bring it back. That's what all thieves say. Policeman, arrest him! Oh, no! <sighs> well, at least the sword is back with its owner. But I don't understand why nothing works today. Don't beat yourself up, Professor. We only have one item left. That's true. Well, let's see where we end up now. The Medieval Times. Phew, finally. It was a bit of a detour, but we're here. But I wonder where the egg is from. <laughs> Tumbling test tubes. Why is everybody running? Oh. Oh. You, you had the dragon's egg. Please, give it back to the dragon. Hurry! Oh, so that's a mommy dragon searching for her egg. We need to give it back, but how? Morph, morph into a dragon too. You. Hey, you! Uh, who is this? Is that you? So, you're the reason why everything went wrong today. Because of you, this mommy dragon almost lost her baby. Problems, but now everyone has their things back. Well, I sure hope Orful has learned his lesson. <laughs> Welcome everyone to our annual building battle. The team who builds the biggest tower wins this trophy. But we can't have it falling down and hurting someone. <laughs> so, Make sure your tower is as stable as a house. Did you hear that, Yorn? The winner of this building battle gets that shiny trophy. Let's join, Stein. We'll be the winners for sure. Yeah. Ready, set. Oh, no! Uh, I mean, go! Morphle, morph into a helicopter! Wow, your tower is already so tall! <laughs> Thank you, Sarah! Oh, no, Stein! The other towers are way higher than our tower. I have an idea. <laughs> Follow me. The professor always has all kinds of gadgets. I'm sure he must have something like... Aha! A growth ray. What does it do, Stein? Take a wild guess. Okay, I get it. Please make me small again. <laughs> now, let's use this on our tower. Oh, you're so smart, Stein. Yeah. 
All right, Yorn. Distract everyone so I can use the growth ray. A distraction? Oh. Hey, everyone! Look over there! A distraction! Where? That certainly is a fine distraction. Oh, wow. That actually worked. Wow! Hmm, something smells fishy here. Well, I think it's clear who the winners are. That's the biggest tower I've ever seen. Congratulations! Yes! We won something! Finally! Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Tumbling test tubes. That's my growth ray. You cheated! You already gave us the trophy! <laughs> yeah! No takesies, batsies! <laughs> they are, the harder they fall. <laughs> oh. 